right, so it's Blue Car, uh, Blue Car Saturdays, we're gonna call it. Yeah. So I think we're the plan is Mark's here, gonna degrease the motor, but we're not gonna pull it apart. Nope, because we don't want to see the bearings. Yeah, there's if you don't if you don't look at the bearings, then you don't have problems. Yeah. It's the same thing why this car doesn't have a clear view filter on it is because if you don't see any bearings, then it's not a problem. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about it. So the six liter that we have is pretty, uh, I don't know, it's probably been leaking for a while. So I think we're just gonna douse it and spray it with water and yeah. then dry it and then put a cam in it. Yep. And don't disassemble because it's, it's ringed. The rings are good for a 300 shot already. Yeah, yeah. 300,000 miles for 300 shot, you know? Yeah, it's ready to go. So we're just gonna let this bake out in the sun. Yep. And hope it uh, fixes itself. <laughs> Mainly because we can't get to any bolts, because they're encased in grime from. Mm -hmm. Man, yep. this is, yes. I mean, at the end, we'll basically have a. Mm. Rebuilt motors. Yeah. It'll be rebuilt. If it's shiny, then that means it's done. It's new. Yeah. So we're just gonna let that marinate for a little, and then we're gonna go. Oh, the heads. That'd be a good one. Mm. Yeah. Ready to go now. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's like assembly loop. Yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, basically. Can't lose that. So we'll just keep putting a few layers on it and letting it, mm -hmm. maybe it'll break down. Yeah. When you see, start seeing the sludge the come grease, off, like drip off, then you, yeah. then you know you're about ready. It's almost like smoking like some meat. Uh -huh. You know, when you see the fat start yeah. falling off, it's about time. <laughs> see, look, it's already... Yeah. Look. So the plan is to get the, uh, I think it's an 8.8, I don't know. Might be yeah. a 7, whatever. It looks like an 8.8. It's probably an 8.8. Out of the black car that's in the back and swapping it into the blue car because that one has drums in the rear mm -hmm. and, uh... I think Mark wants to stop. I do. I, I would like to stop. So, that's the plan today. Are we going to like one at a time? Side thing. I'm gonna try and like get it up oh. at least somewhat. I feel like we're at a junkyard. Yeah. What you need at a junkyard, you need to take those tires off and stack them. You have to stand them up on yeah, the pinch yeah. weld. Yeah, on, on the tires? Yeah. yeah. So this side's not bad. It's the uh. This one's a little sunken. Until someone has to get the upper control on. Yeah, this is to get it off the ground. <laughs> and then take that housing out. <laughs> what if you lift on the back frame rail? Well, this is going somewhat better than we thought. It's uh, a lot of the bolts are way easier. Like it's been, it's recently been installed, so 
a little easier than uh, than normal. I was definitely expecting it to take way longer. It'd be way more a pain in the ass. It wasn't nearly as bad as I thought either of those were gonna go. Especially this one being semi stuck in there. Uh-huh. Not too bad. No. Curious Sorry. if we'll be able to use this sway bar. Ooh. For our lack of anti roll barness. This, these are equally as bad. Ooh, that one's got some more compression to it. Yeah. This is our shock tuning. Yep. Oh. Lots of compression. Lots of rebound though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that lockdown shock. That's the one you put on the front. It's a radial. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna roll the this out on those tires. Then once this is outside, take the tires off, put tires on the other one. Roll that, Roll that one in, put it in car. Done. And then clean the motor. All right, so we got this one up here. It's a little bit of a struggle. Yeah. This one's definitely uh, a lot more rolling resistance. So this one does have lower and upper control arms. Non-adjustable, just tubes. Yep. That's okay. They're way looser than the other ones. And the shocks are tuned for nitrous. You can tell by how they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll put that one in the right rear. Yeah, that one be right rear. This does this one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That one's going in the right rear. So we can swap those, and that'll keep us from twisting because we don't have an anti roll bar, <laughs> unless we can find one. Say, well, this one does have provisions for the factory sway bar, so between the shock yep. being seized up and <laughs> the factory sway bar should be enough anti much set. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Should work. Should we like open it up to see? I think we should. What's in there? I want to see what's in. It's Maybe we can figure out what gear sets open, are in there. Kind of but like really stiff. So. Yeah. I don't know the codes on these. Not a clue. Hey, you just have the... Oh, uh, maybe I can Google it. Probably figure out what it is. I don't mean that's what's in it. That's true. High performance. Here's our... Over there. Impact me, boy. Ready for the greatest smell of all time? <laughs> Watch there be no fluid in there. Shit. Kicked all the bolts. I wonder how many miles that car had on it. Just uh, here we go. Let's drop all the stuff in it. That's that's key. Yeah. Oh, it does have fluid. Do not rocket pack any. Yep. That looks. That looks like, like it's weldable. <laughs> so is this like a factory? I don't know eight eight stuff like at all. Nope, not good. Looks like LSD. That's what I was thinking. At least somewhat. Maybe. Well, I don't know. That's yeah, probably open. Yeah, because that just holds the spider gears. Yeah. yeah, it's open. Not ideal. Yeah, it was still Shane to come up here. Yeah, this still has like the factory gasket. Gasket. Hmm. This may have never been opened. Hmm. 
smells great. Awesome. Like 30 year old cure fluid. Mm -hmm. Seems thin. I guess it's not. I'm used to like 90, 140. Race car stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably need like a little locker or something. Just or it's little, just gonna spin. Just a little bead right there. A little bead right there. A little bead right there. And a little bead right there. And then fill the rest in with bead too. <laughs> just the whole thing. Yep. I mean, that's essentially all a mini spool is. Pretty much. Just less welding. Alright, yeah. Yep, alright, sure. put it back on. Put it back on there. Probably good. All right, so we're t currently trying to figure out what we want to do with the gears in that one. The uh, axle tag says 273s, but it has a traction lock deal set up in it. So we have to go out back see if any of those have a good carrier. And we got Carter helping us today. 273. Oh god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Watch yourself. Carter's going to go inspect. Whoa, whoa. Careful, kid. <laughs> so this one looks nice, and I think it was out of Brian's car, but it's got 273s also. It's a nice looking housing, though. It's got nice shocks. Does that one not have a tag? Do. You can open them. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you'll just have to count the teeth. All right, here's the deal. Matt and wifey going to the park for about an hour or so. We'll see how long, see how long it takes or how long you're there. So I'm here doing gear things. So, housing that, or the axle that we're putting in the car that came out of the black car has 273s. The housing that came out of the car, the drum brake housing, has 373s. Whole lot better for what we're trying to do. So, I'm just gonna start taking things apart and hoping that the axle splines are the same and all that. Um, they're both the same carrier, as far as I can tell. I don't know anything about 88 stuff. This is the first time I've ever had one open. So, yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes. I'm just gonna go for it. Because uh, I want 373s. Actually, I want 410s, but those are free. Free is better. So, I'm gonna put on a pair of rubber gloves and prepare to smell like gear oil for the rest of the weekend. All right, so, slight major change of plans. I was taking this one apart, taking this one. So this is the one that was out of that black car. I was taking it apart and uh, getting ready to like take the bolts out, pull the carrier out. I had to fight to get the axles out because these have these tone rings on them and I was having issues pushing the axles in to bolt the C-clips out. So I kept going like, what the heck? I should just be able to push them in. Turns out the sensor for the tone ring hits the tone ring when you try and push the axle in. So it was getting to the point like I could see the whole C-clip or what I thought was the whole C-clip, but it was only like seven eighths of it or so so it was just enough that it wouldn't pull out so i had to finally figure out okay it's that sensor i gotta pull that sensor out pull the bolt out for the sensor tried to pull the sensor out wouldn't come out ended up beating it out with a screwdriver well i broke it with a screwdriver and then had to use a pry bar and a hammer and beat the sensor through it through the housing end or the, the bracket on both sides so yeah that was a 
That was fun. Anyway, got that done. Pulled the axles. Uh, got the C-clips out. Pulled the axles out. And then... Uh, I got... This whole time I'm thinking, like, okay... If we swap gears and everything, or swap carriers, because that's what we're gonna think in is just swap the whole carrier. That means I gotta swap the pinion too. Okay, well then there's a crush sleeve in there, and you can't really reuse those. And then, like, okay, well, what if the shims are different? Then we gotta deal with, okay, maybe the, um, you know, the backlash and all that's gonna be screwed up. And then I gotta deal with a blown up rear end on the side of the road. I don't really want to deal with that. So I was just thinking like, okay, what else can I do? What else can I do? And then finally hit me like, duh, stupid. Just look and see if the housing ends are the same and then just swap the brakes. As you know, all of you guys are just going, oh yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's the plan now. So, said all that, I rolled the tires back outside Put it back on that housing, push the housing all the way back up here. It's not very far, but it's like probably 80 or 90 yards. So, still kind of a lot to try and push it. And it's all uphill coming back. So, anyway, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get this housing up on jack stands like this one, and then uh, kind of pull it apart about the same amount, do the same thing. Uh, get the axles out so that I can get to the uh, housing end bolts with the nuts on the inside and then make sure everything's gonna swap over I'm hoping I can swap axles too because this housing has really short studs on it and this one already has nice long studs I guess for these wheels because they're they're pretty thick wheels so I'm gonna hopefully be able to swap axles and then uh, once that gets done and swap everything else over um, control arms uh, shocks I'm not gonna worry about shocks right now but all the other stuff that's got to get swapped over at least to mount it back in the car because Obviously, the car can't stay in here because we gotta push push it back outside and get uh, the customer vehicle back inside. You know, so it's not outside for the rest of the weekend or something. So, lot to do. Not very much time. Well, it's only it's one o'clock, so I got probably five hours of daylight or so, and I don't have to stop at dark. But yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Wish me luck. Okay, so, good news, so far. Uh, it appears as though housing ends are exactly the same and uh, all the disc brake stuff is gonna swap over to the drum brake housing. So no messing with changing up carriers or changing the ring gear or anything like that, ring and pinion. So, that's good. Um, just show you. Yeah. Nice and crusty. Like years and years of leaky axle seals. <laughs> so, we're just gonna. Um, yeah, just put them on. I'm not gonna clean them. Not worth it. The only thing that might be worth it is the weight. It's probably a solid half a pound. But I'm going to take a hammer. I'm going to flatten out the bentness. And then I'm going to bolt it on. Yep. That's how, that's how this build's going to go.
I need a scraper. This is how you clean your high horsepower LF motors. The water pressure sucks here, so uh, I might have to do some scrubbing. It's uh, not going to come off. So you guys can tell, it's got quite the uh, layer of sludge on it. Not ideal. But, we don't have to take it anywhere to get machined. Just kind of clean it and rock with it. We think it's a good motor. I don't really know. The nitrous will fix all. It's basically like mechanics in a can, mm -hmm. in a bottle. You just run it and it'll fix it. I think most of it was on this front timing cover. Yeah. Like the back is not that dirt, it's mainly just like road dirt. There's a little back here, but nothing wild. Yeah, the back's pretty clean. This front. I was hoping the uh, hose would take off more. You know how that goes sometimes. All right, so we got our uh, precision cleaned uh -huh. six liter here. Yep. So when you need that. to when you need to empty it out, it's got all the dirt and stuff in it too. So you just you just rotate it. Yeah. And then you know the water acts like lubricant, and then it'll it'll hone the cylinders for you too. Yeah, these are basically new. Yeah. At this point. Yeah, pretty much. Look at that. Pretty much ready to go. And then you're mashing all the uh, dog food. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, that was in there. That yep. was in there from the mice. From the mouse. Yeah. So, that's a positive, too. Yeah. It's ready. I mean, it's... Yeah. It's rebuilt. It's ready for uh, all ready the power. I mean, there's even an oil filter on it. Yeah. But now the water is all in the pan. And you just drain it out and <laughs> fill it up. Just press the oil in there. Probably. <laughs> we never opened it. We never checked. <laughs> or there's a mice in oil down there. Yeah, there's probably a dead mouse. In the oil. Yeah, let me grab a wrench. Alright, got the motor back on the stand. The car's got its uh, new springs, disc brakes, ideal for stopping. See if it's got truck status anymore. Hopefully not. Yay. Oh, way better. Way better. So much better. But it's not even that like. They weren't even that different. They're just one inch lowering springs. Yeah. Whatever springs were in there were either not for it or. They might have been Explorer springs. Could. Because I was. I mean, it sat real high. <laughs> really high. Like that's normal Fox body. Yeah what I would consider. So we got the motor set up over here, taking it apart, kind of cleaning a little bit. Um, thought I'd bring out the parts we've got so far. Got a Cam Motion, this is our Junkyard Dog, six liter um, nitrous cam. It's a 238, 254. 621 and 604 so should be pretty rowdy head bolts uh, some ls7 lifters i guess these are new btr lifters because ls7s are hard to get uh let's see spring kit for the heads and some head gaskets so i'll uh total up what we spent so far so you guys can see but we're about to slap that cam in there and put some lifters in it. 
And then it's pretty much done. <laughs> yep. Put the, and then just go back together. Put the heads back on it. All right, you're gonna have to do this blindfolded. You take out the cam. Yeah, yeah. And then so you, you don't, don't look. See that first one. Yeah. yeah, you don't see the cam bearings. Actually, that's okay. that's okay. I ran one on my boat that was uh, had a chip out of it. Oh yeah, yeah. The, it holds more oil that way. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's fine. And we got Carter over here helping again. You helping? You gonna help? No, I'm just gonna shove my Hot Wheels in hole. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there'll be a Hot Wheels in every hole in this shop. What do you think? Don't be shy. <laughs> you gotta help. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this cam in here. What are you working on? Well, attempting to pull the camshaft out. Yeah, attempting to get the cam out. It's not going, but I feel like we're pulling each cam bearing out as we go. Oh, no. I don't think I've ever had a cam set on. Whatever it's, I don't know if it's like. I think you're just not just strong strange? enough. Cool. That looks a little warm. Yeah, we're not gonna look at that bearing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Pretend we didn't see you know, maybe so... this is why it was a junkyard motor. Because I would assume that this cam bearing is fun. So you're getting a new cam for it? Yeah, we have one, but I don't want to stick in a nice cam. Because it's like burnt. Oh, uh. I think our bearing came with it. Is uh stuck in there? Oh I can't see. Let's see. Oh yeah. That might be the one from before it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It probably pushed the other one. But that would be the one that was burnt. Whoops. So are you using this motor for the car? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a spot cam bearing. We usually just put <coughs> cam bearings in it. No, but we're hoping not to have to do that, but here we are. Well, this sounds sketchy. Yeah, it's just a 300 shot of nitrous. <laughs> no, that bearing's with that one. Those two together. Yeah. That would be why we couldn't get the cam out. It means we have to see those bearings too. I know. <laughs> it's gonna be even worse. I think I have a set of cam bearings. I don't know why you're trying to clean it up. It's already a mess. I don't think that's good. <laughs> you missed the paper towels. Thanks. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. Carter, what are you doing? It's helping. Making sure none of the animals get in the shop. You're just running around. Hmm. Full time job. Kind of puts a damper on things. Putting everything together? Yeah, one yeah. night. Yeah. Try again tomorrow. Uh, let's try again when parts come. <laughs> Which is hard right now. I think I have cameras. I don't I've never had a, a Gen 3 motor. So I have Gen 3 cameras because it doesn't. 
but everything's gonna come out. Right. You're gonna power wash this thing. We did. Oh. Yeah, with the hose. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't a power wash. <laughs> we don't have any water pressure. No. <laughs> it was a power dribble. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. I got off wrong. I, I was wondering why so much water came out of it. Our plan has uh, slightly detoured. Um, we weren't gonna put cam any bearings in it, but one of the lobes is for sure burnt. So here we are, putting cam bearings without pulling the crank out. I don't, mm -hmm. It might be possible, we're gonna have to fish them down in there. and be a lot more difficult, but then we don't have to reuse the main studs though. Yeah. But I do have these from a long time ago. That's a pre-04, and that's what this is. So it should be good to go. In theory. Yes. Well, we're kind of at a uh, standing point here because uh, couldn't get the, so you have to drop this. This has to be down in the cam bore and then you stick the rod through and hook up to these threads on the back. And then you run the cam bearing that way, but you can't when you're you <laughs> cranking the crank there. <laughs> so we tried to tap it in from the front, but it uh, didn't want to go in that way. I was hoping I could hold it straight enough, but it turns out you have to have that cone on the end. It's a very crucial piece of uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now the option is to tank, take one of these rods out. And then we could drop shit down in there. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like a tomorrow problem. Because <laughs> I really don't want to take a rod out tonight. <sighs> we almost had it. Almost. We were very close because we got all the other cam bearings in. Dropping the bearings down between the rods. Putting it on the end and then tapping it. It's close. Mm-hmm. No Very cigar. Close. Now, as long as the main bearings and rod bearings are fine. Well, they are, because we didn't look at them. Correct. None of them look real hot, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a new flight. That's a, uh... Enough blue fox body for one day. Yeah, that was quite a bit. <laughs> oh, rear end housing swapping debacle. Yeah, brakes. Trying to figure out what was four lug, five lug. Mm -hmm. What was what? Got uh, housing in everything on except the calipers because the calipers are seized mm -hmm. so if anyone has some fox body rear brake calipers or explore probably explore probably explore it's a five lug yeah send it our way please we uh -huh. would greatly appreciate it and i was real hopeful for that canberry yep kind of sucks because <laughs> yeah so not not only can we not get that one in we now can't get it out. Because uh -huh. you have to go through and drop that little piece down. Yeah. All right. Well. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> slight correction. Bearing is in. Mm -hmm. Unconventional methods were used. <laughs> but it's in there now. So... It's fine. Now we're putting this big old thing in there. Not even lubing it up. It's got lube on it. Oh, pre-lube? No, oh, it's just machining. Oh, okay. Machining oil? Yeah. Fine. That'll work. We'll pre-lube it. Oh, something. Hmm? Part of the tool? Oh, yeah. We need that out of there. There's a magnet. That's why it wasn't tightening. Oh, yeah. Nah. Huh. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, I just saw something roll. I'm like... <laughs> 
I hope that was a part of the cam that just like <laughs> fell off or something. It's like, man, this is really tight. I don't. <laughs> I was hoping it wasn't the bearing coming out. Yeah, because it was. Well, all right, this one might require non-phone use, right. or just hold it up. Maybe I can, maybe I can finger it. You're there. You just gotta. I can't. Just... Give her a, a tippy tap. Tap. <laughs> I mean, it's there on the back. I feel like it's pushing the can, the can bearing out, right? Looks kind of like it. That one wasn't spun. It's uh... <laughs> Concerning. That's a new one. Huh. We uh... <clears throat> Let me get the uh... These bolts out so I can use it as some leverage. Did it push it out? Mm-hmm. 